We are in Springfield. I'm talking to John Weissman from Western Mass Jobs with Justice. So, John, what are we doing here today? We're trying to launch a movement in Springfield that takes care of everyone who, who needs a home by using the property that's available, that's been abandoned and vacated. Like, we'll never be defeated. The people, united, will never be defeated. The police were here first, so some of the plans have changed. Uh -huh. Originally, it was to take over the house and use it. It doesn't look like that's going to happen. We'll see. Thanks. What do we want? Justice. When do we want it? Now. What do we want? Justice. When do we want it? Now. Go peace. Go peace. <laughs> Say what? Ain't no power like the power of the people, cause the power of the people don't stop. Say what? Ain't no power like the power of the people, cause the power of the people don't stop. Say what? Ain't no power like the power of the people, cause the power of the people don't stop. Say what? Ain't no power like the power of the people, cause the power of the people don't stop. Someone to live in a shelter, and half of 
us have gone to the welfare, the DTA, and said we need a place to stay. They turn us away. Some of us are sleeping under cars. That's right, that's right. And kids are sleeping under cars. Parents are paying for their kids to sleep in people's houses for safety. And when I look at a house like that, yeah. and I think about Fannie Mae, yeah. I think they need to help us get bailed out. That's right. That's, that's right. right. That's our money. Yeah. Why no did they dollar. take our tax dollars with no problem? Yeah. Why right. did they get big money to hurt all of us? That's, that's right. right. And that's why we're here today, because we have to stand up. Yeah. That's right. Right. That's right. Right. We have to fight back. There's no other way. Yeah. And the city of Springfield could help us do this. Yeah. They got to let them know we're not putting our people in the street. Right. We need all our city municipal people to say I'm not down with that. Right. We do not want to find people in the streets. Right. And we don't want to leave homes like this because crime happens. That's right. That's we need right. people that so we urge our city councilors, our legislators, don't leave us out in the dust. In the streets. I'm looking at all these signs. I believe in homes for all. Stop the war on the poor. Homeless families need homes. What are we going to do when these banks keep attacking us? We're going to stand up and fight back. From our eyes. We have all these signs. We have trash bags. We have grapes. Um, we're ready to go and clean up this property, which is neglected. Um, but we've been told that we can't do it. Now, you see, now you see we have Springfield Spy Nest over here. Yes. They are here to make sure that we don't break the law. Um, the city seems to think that we're going to move into this house. We're going to take it over. But let me tell you, when we're ready to take over a house, the city will be the last to know. We're not going to be having a demonstration before we take over a house. All we want to do today is clean it, and we're not allowed to do that. So, I know what we're going to do from here, folks. Um, well, we can clean it. Anybody who goes in will be arrested to do it. Or at least that's what they tell us. But you would certainly think the city would appreciate our efforts. They can't do it. Why not us? Let's all get arrested. Let's all get arrested. Let's all get arrested. We only have We were just on a house. We were just on a housing tour. You might be on your own in there for a minute. With some elected officials, including State Representative Cheryl Rivera. We went around. We looked at some of the worst places in Springfield and things that really give us hope things that can be done differently, housing for people that were formerly homeless, um, tenant-owned housing, like Cathedral Hill. We know we can make things different in this city if they give us a chance. Right. This right. is not what we want to see. Right. No. We just came from Willard Avenue. I spent six years of my childhood on that street. It was a great street. I love to live there. With there's 20 houses, nine of them are vacant. Oh. And some of them can clearly never be repaired. They're gone. Oh. You know? And why isn't the city watching out for us? Why, why isn't the why? city making sure that the banks can't destroy our community? Because that's exactly what they have done. And these wonderful solutions that so-called Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac have come up with 
are not doing anything for us. We cannot turn our housing and our community and our decisions over to the speculators no. and the no. banks. And that's, that's no solution. So I don't know what we're going to do from here. If you give us a few minutes to think, we will certainly let all of you know. We have a pledge, though. We have a national campaign. It is launching today in 10 different cities. We're very excited. There's going to be a national movement for housing. We Woo! needed one for a long time. So we have a pledge that we are going to read, and we're going to want all of you to join in. So I think I'm going to turn it over to Malcolm. No, oh, uh, yeah, I'll take it now. But. So a quick note about this house. This house was sold in the height of the housing bubble with a loan from a company called Fremont Loan Services. Um, Fremont is one of the most notorious predatory lenders in the country. Uh, it's been investigated, it has reached settlements, it has paid out lots of money. Um, and then this house sat vacant until it was sold and then it was taken at tax title by the city. And we, we canvassed this house, uh, the, the neighbors in this neighborhood, who have told us that this house has been vacant for years and that oftentimes the only people who go into it are kids sometimes going in after school. Uh, and our sister Candia, a little while ago on Willard Ave, talked about her seeing that the, she talks about vacant houses are our new kids' playgrounds and that that's not okay. Oh. Earlier today, our plan was to simply clean up this house and hold a community celebration on the property. Yeah. What was wrong? The police and the city of Springfield have decided to employ likely thousands of dollars yeah. Boo. To, Boo. to keep keep residents from simply cleaning up a property. And, for free. We have, as, as Mike Lamb said, we have garbage bags. And that is exactly what's happening across the country and across the city with all types of bank owned vacant properties. And what's incredible is that the same city that has police all over this block is refusing or backtracking on implementing an ordinance that would actually maintain and secure and bring in revenue to the city for properties like this. So I wanted to make sure I wanted to make sure we had a little context. Um, but today was as much about coming and reclaiming a vacant property as it was about the incredible people throughout Springfield who are homeless families, who are residents uh, in foreclosure, who are tenants paying, uh, as the candidate in New York says, too damn much, <laughs> um, who are public housing residents Woo fighting against demolition and, and displacement, who both here in Springfield and across the country have united and are continuing to unite and are dedicated to figuring out together how we fight a movement that can truly win housing for everyone. Yeah. That can truly win housing for everyone. So we want to welcome up uh, six, uh, six of our pledgers, six of our uh, the spokespeople and, and community leaders and folks who are fighting the housing crisis in their own lives and in the community who are going to share a, a brief word about their struggle and are going to read a pledge to all of us. Um, so Jeff is actually standing right next to me, so I'll have, I'll, we'll have Jeff Solomon come up first. I, I, I can't clap up okay. bad legs. <laughs> but, any, but anyway, the thing is, I've lost my home from, to Bank of America, who sold it to Fannie Mae, who now wants to put me out of my home. The 23rd of, this, of January of this year, they wanted to put me out on the street in four-degree weather with my two pets. 
Now, Monday, they dropped them an eviction notice off in my home to evict me today, this morning. Now, they back down, and I'm thankful for that. But my pledge is that for all of you who are here, we are the few who are fighting for the many. And my pledge is to stand up and fight for you who are in similar situations like this. We've either been foreclosed on or are in foreclosure, who have been evicted or face eviction. I will stand up and fight for you. Just come, just don't don't give up. You just can't give up the fight. I, I, I always say this in my in my speeches is that if our city council, our state representatives, our president, who I've campaigned for, can't step up for the people who put you in office, mm -hmm. then you all need to step down right. and put somebody there right. who's going to do the job. Just to finish. You know <laughs> my pleasure is to stand and fight to defend your home. We want to reclaim our community, and we also want to rebuild it. Yeah. Yeah. So. Like I said, don't give up the fight. But I wanted to actually really put it into, into your hearts is that you don't know me, I don't know you. But you have a lot of love to come out here today and stand up to fight for each other that we don't know. This is, in my eyes, unity in our community. And united we stand. As long as we stick together, we will never be divided so we can fall. Keep your heads up and stay together. Um, next up, we have our sister Jackie Logan, who's going to give her pledge. Uh, Jackie's mouth has not here, right? No. This place has become homeless, and each year, more than 1,700 families in Springfield become homeless. Across the country, about 4 million families face homelessness every day. I believe in homes for all, and today I make a pledge to you, and want to know how many of you make a pledge with me to defend my neighbor's homes and mine, to reclaim our community, That's and right. to rebuild our city of Springfield and the city of Hope. because this movement is not just Springfield, it is all of the greater Springfield area, including Holyoke. Yes. Uh, and Marcella Jane is gonna share her story and her pledge. Hello. Um, my name is Marcella Jane, and I live in the Lyman Terrace housing projects in Holyoke, Mass, with my two daughters. Last year, the Holyoke Housing Authority announced their intentions to demolish my projects and sell the land to private investors. If their plan had been successful, over 166 households of almost exclusively Latino families would have been displaced. Through community pressure, we, the tenants, were able to thwart their plans for demolition. Yeah. Nice. Our apartments have yet to be brought up to code. Rats, cockroaches, mold, leaking bathroom pipes, lack of insulation, cracking paint, broken railings, cracked sidewalks, and utter negligence are still daily realities for tenants like me. For the past several decades, public housing has been demolished in the name of revitalization. And hundreds of thousands of families have been displaced. Projects like ours have been habitually neglected so that local housing authorities can justify demolition and then displacement. I am here today to say we will tolerate neither substandard living conditions nor displacement. And I believe in safe and sanitary homes for all. And I pledge to defend my neighbor's homes, reclaim our communities, and rebuild our cities. Thank you. Carol and my home is underwater. I've been fighting with uh, Bank of America and Freddie Mac for the past Ooh. almost four years now. Uh, we're asking for principal reduction or selling back at current market value and they will not work with us at all. We've been working with uh, BCC which is a non-profit uh, organization and it was starting to go through but then Freddie Mac stopped it by saying that if 
BCC bought our home, they were not to sell back to us or any of my family members or anybody we knew. They couldn't sell back to us. So, um, my my pledge today is to defend my home, my neighbors' homes, everybody's home, reclaim our communities, and re rebuild our cities. Yeah. 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 In response. So we ask everybody out here to help do this, this call and response. Because we're not going to stay here today. Um, and, and we're not taking this house today. But as Michael Ann said, if the city and the federal government continue to side with elected or with private banks and investors and continue to sit on vacant properties while we need more homes, we will do that. And we're prepared to do that. And we'll do it united. So we want to make a pledge together. Um, do you want to come on up or are you going to stay there? I'll stay here. So we're going to read it, we're going to do it in English, and then we're going to do it in Spanish. And we're going to do it one line at a time, so we'll say, we'll say one line, and then y'all all in unison respond back, all of you as well, all right? We are homeless families. We are homeless families. We are tenants. We are tenants. We are public housing residents. We are public housing residents. We are homeowners. We are To defend each other's homes. Today we pledge to defend each other's homes. Reclaim our communities. Reclaim our communities. And rebuild our city of homes. And rebuild our city of homes. Yeah. Not in Spanish, and some folks might get mad at me. That's okay, though. I can do it. Right. You want to do it? I don't mind not talking. No, go for it. Isabel, you did it last night. You want to do it? <laughs> Isabel's going to lead us. Somos familia desamparadas. Nosotros somos familias desamparadas. Nosotros somos inquilinos. Nosotros somos inquilinos. Nosotros somos residentes de vivienda pública. Nosotros somos residentes de vivienda pública. Nosotros somos dueños de nuestros hogares. Nosotros estamos unidos. Nosotros estamos unidos. Hoy nosotros comprendemos a defender nuestros hogares. Hoy nosotros comprendemos a defender nuestros hogares. Retomar nuestras comunidades. Retomar nuestras comunidades. Y reconstruir nuestra ciudad de hogares. Y reconstruir nuestra ciudad de hogares. for a house It don't matter if you can't make the payments when all the jobs head south That's right. You see they bet on both sides so they win either way That's how the Lord giveth them the land Say it'll trickle down 
just keeps trickling up and the first hit's free but after that you gotta pay that's how the lord giveth and the landlord taketh away well they say there's a crisis so every puppet's talking about How the same folks who got us into this need us to bail them out. Guess when you're too big to fail, it means you're too big to pay. Ain't it clever how the Lord giveth and the landlord taketh away? Well, big men got big plans. And big plans, they only expand. They got no friends, only interests. Little men are pawns in their hands. And they send them to fight for reasons that aren't what they say. Poor boys, don't you know the Lord giveth them the land. cut and the newsmen just look the other way while the lord giveth and the landlord taketh away well they've been writing up the laws for as long as they've been stealing the land make it so convoluted that ordinary folks can't understand and it's a grim reminder every year on columbus day just how the lord giveth and the landlord taketh away we just hang around we just hang around drinking coffee from a paper cup get no say that's why the lord giveth and the landlord taketh away that's why the lord